next witness is uh, Mr. Joe Robson uh, from the uh, Robson Companies Incorporated, located in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, a builder of residential and commercial properties. Mr. Robson is uh, testifying on behalf of the National Association of Home Builders, which has represented more than 800 state and local home builder associations since its founding in 1972, and perhaps you could say bearing the brunt of our current crisis. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. That's 1942, so. Oh, excuse me. I apologize. Uh, it may be a typo, so. But uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, since the onset of the economic downturn, Congress and the administration have taken several important steps to respond to the crisis. Uh, our members certainly appreciate those efforts. Uh, however, the crisis wears on and more resources are needed. We welcome the opportunity to comment on how to potentially expand the role of the Small Business Administration and its capital access programs to help struggling small businesses including home builders. The current housing recession is the worst since World War II. Housing starts are down 80 percent since January of 2006 and virtually every housing indicator reached an all-time low in the last two quarters. Glimmers of hope, however, suggest that the three-plus year decline in housing may have stabilized, these buds of growth notwithstanding. A number of specific headwinds will continue to buffet any significant housing recovery. The, strong of the strongest of these include excess inventory of vacant homes and apartments, foreclosures that continue to feed this inventory, continuous downward price pressures from too much supply and not enough demand, tight mortgage underwriting and low appraisals, and extremely difficult financing terms and availability for builder acquisition development and construction loans or AD and C loans. The data suggests that residential construction is now bouncing along a bottom. We forecast that housing starts face a low, slow recovery that will take several years. NHB forecasts 525,000 housing starts for 2009 and 650,000 for 2010. This is less than half of our forecast for long-term housing demand. Of the issues I mentioned, two stand out for their acute impact on home builders, low appraisals and lack of financing for AD&C loans. My written statement explains in detail the key components of these issues, but suffice it to say that taken together, they are placing enormous pressure on home builders' bottom lines and for many, endangering their ability to survive the economic downturn. Additional credit resources could help them survive until the economy recovers. Historically, NHB builder members have not been able to access SBA loan programs because they do not serve the primary need of most builders, access to AD and C credit. Non-builder NHB members such as suppliers, manufacturers, and others likely can utilize SBA programs. However, SBA guaranteed loans cannot be used to finance real estate development activity. As part of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, the SBA toolbox was expanded with the cre creation of the America's Recovery Capital Loan Program. This program allows for loans of up to $35,000 for payments on principal and interest on existing loans, qualifying small business debt, including mortgages, and for other purposes. And the NHB strongly supports this program and is hopeful that it can help our members. Turning to the new proposals the committee is crafting for SBA, we applaud the proposed improvements of the 7A program, especially the capital backstop program. This could help expand the pool of participating SBA lenders while also providing a backstop for loans if no lender can be found. One potential improvement we suggest is to further specify the borrowers who are eligible to participate. It is unclear to us, for example, if home builders would qualify. Finally, we support the committee's proposal to establish a supplemental loan assistance program to complement the lending initiatives currently administered by the SBA, providing for significantly larger loan amounts than the 7A or ARC programs and targeting businesses in the construction industry would be extremely helpful to NHB members. Further, creating a role for SBA as a backstop lender can help ensure liquidity for these loans. But to help home builders specifically, 
we urge the committee to include residential AD&C financing as an eligible use of these funds. We are glad to work with the committee as it further develops this proposal. And that concludes my remarks. And again, thank you for allowing me to testify today. Thanks.